And welcome back to some more Icarus. Haven't played in a couple of days because I wasn't feeling too well. So I have no idea what I was doing the last time. But that's okay though. We'll make something happen today again. Uh, so, my co-streamer Echo couldn't make it in time. So that's why we gonna have a solo session again today um, let's see let's start out by uh, going to the volcanic biome to empty out the lima one tree once more Yes, I know there was an update today, however, we will be doing the patch notes updates tomorrow. So that's why I'm not going into the uh, updates today. But rest assured, we will do the patch notes tomorrow. Yeah, if Echo can't make it, I'll do it with Carl, like we've done the last couple of times, so no worries there. Let's see, let's find Phoenix. There's Phoenix. And we have all uh, the wrong uh, focus, so we take off the saddle, we put it back in, back on. Et voila. We have normal view again. It's slightly annoying, but meh. It's an easy fix anyway, so don't care too much. Righty ho. I'm quickly gonna step off and back on. Uh, sorry. Press, not hold. To fix the errors my... Wow, are you that much damaged? Yeah. Well, now you repair it again. Uh, to fix the errors the DS was throwing are more warnings than errors, but still. See, as usual, we are just going to ignore the weather events. As long as my food bus are okay, I don't really care. It's not gonna cause me uh, that much damage anyway, and I should be able to out heal it pretty easily, so. No lava broodling here. Maybe because of the weather event, I don't know. Anyway, here we are done again through the volcanic biome. Sulfuric upheaval. So I might have to repair the wind turbine in order to get the drill running at full speed again but that's fine so I'll actually wait in the base there until the weather event is over like empty out the, the drill then wait in the base till it's over then repair the wind turbine and then we go get back home again you go in there Whilst I go and grab this. Oh, you're not even full, huh? 23 only. Are you that much damage already? Nah. So, now we await the storm here. What do I have here? 
orange, silica, aluminum, briefly bauxite, coal. I might actually grab some of this stuff with me, you know. Okay, let's start out by giving you two stacks of iron oxygen crust. Turbine is taking some damage there, but that's okay. Let's see. So, less than two hours till the next meteor event, which is okay. I've just given up on the whole uh, exotic stuff here, cause, like, you know. This tree is bugged anyway, so. No more exposure, however, the drill is still, the wind turbine sorry, is still taking damage. So let's quickly repair you. Oh yeah, what I, I did do one of the previous streams was make an ice borer, but I have n not uh, put it down somewhere yet. Uh, there was in somewhere around here, I believe, I don't know, that region. There was an, uh, grab you. Th there was a uh, enzyme geyser with some uh, fortifications around and uh, the vapor condenser on top of it. I'm gonna replace the vapor condenser with an ice borer just for fun. Probably run a power line all the way over there. And water line all the way back. Okay, repair you. Sixteen hundred in game. have to go to close the door Get those two that's 13 now at least I don't expect I would have expected to, I expected it to have like a full load again but apparently not but then again it is still running so it'll keep extracting Bye bye, Lava Broodling. Bye bye. So, yeah, for the people wondering when Echo is going to be gaming again, uh, she's looking into uh, changing her uh, work hours and maybe we'll move the Thursday stream to Monday so that's gonna mean uh, the Prometheus characters like the new ones we made for Prometheus we're gonna play on Monday instead of Thursday uh, for co the co-op stream uh, it's gonna take a bit of time before we can do so. Before Echo is gonna be able to actually change our hours, so. Yeah, they definitely fixed the uh, flyers. Okay. That's a bit too much turning. Thirteen 
So Edgy, hey? Two times seven, two times eight. And obviously I totally forgot that I wanted to bring some stuff back home. Knock is crushed. That's fine though. At least I did bring some with me. I just have to grab it out of Phoenix's inventory. And these, like 100, I can put in here. Now that one is full, so I'll uh, drop it in here. Boom. There you go. 917. Did I, do I have any purples left here? I do not. Okay, check. Thank you, whatever program it was giving that sound. Don't worry, it was my computer. So, you go there. Consume, consume, consume. Let's wash hands. And sleep. Yeah, right. Let's have a look. My supply is way higher than my demand, so I can easily uh, power a uh, water bore. This one, my supply is higher than my demand as well, but you know, why not just put the water bore down here? Let's have a quick look. Be cold. The where is yes. should be thereabouts. That's uh oh, okay. Hold on. Will it still it shoot? I don't know. Oops, landed in the brambles. I kind of forgot about that one. The question is, if I bring the power line all the way over there, will it still... Uh, will it still run? Yeah. Oh, come on. Will the water borer still run when I get all the way over there? Uh, all the way over there and I'm in base. Since I'm not riding a mount, let's just go that way. Run and click very rapidly. You see there to the right, there is the geyser, which we're going to. There. 
my standard setup to try and keep the thing a bit safe. Uh, there's nothing in there. Uh, okay, so we'll pick you up. We will put you down. Then we hook you up. Um, it should, it should work. I don't know, maybe I should put the solar panel down as well. I don't know, anyway. Let us, um, bring the water back. Down, please. I don't know, maybe put a water barrel down there as well. Just for the fun. I am not gonna put a battery down there though. Jump over here, and jump up here, and let's see, the beam, so go here, okay, now all we need to do is bring this into the base. Can I actually... Yeah, I think that might be better to hook it up down here. Okay, so let's put this one back. There you go. Now let's have a look here. Nope, supply still only 4k. Do I see the water borer? I do see it here. It is on. So. Not here though. That's interesting. Because it is here. Alright, so it is actually 
actively drawing power. Is it? The one still 42900. Okay. Yeah, disconnect, reconnect. It is definitely drawing power. Then, question is gonna be why is not providing any water to the network? Still, here is fine. That's fine. Yeah, let's check this adjunction here. Did this somehow not hook up to the water network here? That's possible. No, it is prof. Okay. okay. Where is this water going to then? Don't see it come up here. Uh, hold on, actually. Um. It is one, two, three, four floors in. Okay. Four floors in. So it should hook into he here. Ah, but look at how long this water line is. It, it, this is a bug water line. So, what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, I cannot unhook it from there. Um, huh. Nothing visible here, nothing there. This is definitely a bugged water line. That means I have to replace this water line. Preferably without having to take off too many stuff. So, uh, let's quickly drink, disconnect this, oh look at that, yes, yeah, definitely bugged, that's for sure. Let's see, is this one here still hooked up now, to the network? This one is still hooked up. Right. Where? Come on, I need I need a spline in order to Oh wait, is there a maybe there is a Did I place a beam down there? Yes, there is a beam here. So, if I take out this beam, will I, can I now see? No, I cannot. Okay. Nothing there either. Huh. Okay, hook up from here. Bring it down there. Can I now hook you up to here? Yes. Okay. Now the water bore is also providing me with water. But still, yeah, I would need to have to uh, take out a floor there, which I preferably don't do because of then the mount falling down. Four floors from here. One, two, three would be somewhere here. Then, huh? This is interesting. Look at this 
bugged water line. There's definitely something not right. Okay. Start by taking out a whole bunch of these then. The bugged ones. Does mean I have to reconnect quite a bit again, I reckon. Uh, this is probably the one going up. Yeah, yeah, see, now we have the splines there again. Okay. So. You can hook up back to here. And you can hook, uh, go to here and then hook up to here. You should be on the network again. You are not on the network. Right, so. Um, that means I'll have to bring you down somewhere. Let's see where that somewhere is gonna be. Yeah, okay, so. Can I hook it up here? Ah, this is the outer line there, huh? Which I just took out. Now, you are coming up right here. So what I could do is bring you over to here and then from here hook you back up there. Boom. That's already connected. You're in as well. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay. So we fixed that water line as well. Good. Why is there a power line here? Not doing anything no more. Is there? Hold on. Were you... Ah, yeah, you were hooked up to the top. And from here I brought you to the other one. And from the top... Okay, okay, so I have to... Connect you back there. Oh, do I still have ladders or something? Or a way to go up there? Well, I kind of do. Hold on. Hold on. See, it's damaged and all, but I should be able to get up there without having to uh, unfocus the power tool. Nope, missed it. I should have known, I should have sprint jumped. There you go. See, now I can hook you up back here. Let's see, where did you come from exactly? Somewhere over here. This one. Hook you up to there. You should be hooked up to the power network again. Yes. Okay. So that's fixed. Lovely. Look, all my solar panels are now producing power. 257 supply. And a total demand of 34-ish. 34, 43, 43, 9. Okay. So, power network and water network are fixed. Forty-three nine total supply. Okay. Right, so. 
You can go back there. You can go back there. The vapor condenser I'll put in here. Boom. Alrighty. So that has been fixed now as well. Right. Anything else I wanted to do? Are you going with the iron? Two, three, four, five hundred iron. Two hundred I can put in there, and the other three hundred I'll put in the cabinet here. Uh, hundred silica. I have plenty of gold, so let's grab a hundred gold. And then I need a hundred organic resin. So I can make more composite paste. I'm also gonna need to make more uh, carbon fiber though. Can I make carbon fiber here? I cannot. Let's see. What was the successor of the uh, mortar and pestle? Let me quickly check. One sec. There's actually a diagram in. Uh, this material processor too in uh, this week's patch notes so. material processor silica aluminum ingot four organic resin into epoxy so I need way more organic resin then huh let's make like uh, 400 organic resin I need 200 epoxy. Uh, 100 silica ore and 100 aluminum ingots. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 100. I better start smelting aluminum ingots again then. And a hundred of these. Okay. You should be done by smelting a bunch of composites, yes. Uh, carbon fiber. Ton smelted as well. Oh yeah. I start smelting uh, a bunch of aluminum ingots. Consume, consume, and drink. Demand 55k, but I'm supplying to 60, so five times that amount. Should be fine. I have a demand of 1600, and I'm only supplying 6k. I was supplying 4k only. I'm supplying 6k. Uh, Okay. I'm not using a whole lot of war, which is good because I'm not producing a whole lot either. Water bores do give you twice as much as uh, 
water pumps but then again the water pumps you can put close by whereas the water borer you're uh, depending on the closest enzyme geyser so yeah anyway let's clear out these again This one makes five out of the fifteen total. Because you know we have more here. Yes, I know I can collect like uh, ten more uh, spoiled plants by taking out the sponges but then I'll have to keep emptying out the sponges and at least this way I only have to empty out the first slot I'm still kinda hoping that someday I'll be able to eh, I will be finding like a, a water wheel completely filled with sponges just for fun Good. Uh, da, 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 da. So I can make more fertilizer here. Actually, I'm gonna put this in there and I'm gonna put a hundred in here. Oh, yeah. I was at some point making volatile substance and I wanted to get to like a total of uh, another 100 volatile substance. So I can make more explosive shotgun shells. Indeed. So we go to the ammo cabinet. We grab ourselves another 100 buckshot. Which we'll throw in here. Oh, I still have 75. Okay. That means I can put the 75 back here. Actually, I'm gonna put 50 back and I'm gonna grab the rest and bring it there. So, every 25 done here, because there's only stack 25 and they uh, decay. So, as soon as I have 25, I better craft 25 shotgun shells. How far along are you? You're done with those. Good, I can check them in there. How are you doing with those? I will grab 400 organic resin. Sorry, I said 400. So you grab that one. I can check the organic resin in here and I can make 100 composite paste. Boom. And then we can continue with the explosive shotgun shells over here. Leveled up once again. Sure. Sure thing. Uh, na, na, na. I grab all the composites from here and check them back in here. I need somewhere to put the stock until I need it. I'll check some in here for now. Explosive shotgun shells here. This one is still rapidly making the uh, composite paste. So I can start smelting this. This will free up quite a bit of uh, room in the 
material processor. Because uh, I'm using uh, six resources to make one. So, yeah. It's freeing up slots, so that's good. This stuff can go there. So soon it's done with the uh, composites, it can work on the carbon paste. In the meantime, why not make more uh, battery racks, you know? I mean, why not, right? I know I am going to need a ton of uh, electronics, though. So better start making more electronics, eh? I'm going to need organic resin, surprise, surprise. I'm going to need more oxide. So, let's grab ourselves a bunch of, uh, say, oxide noxious crust. Or why not? 100 will turn into 500 oxide. And actually, let's grab another, well, say 50. Uh, hold on, that's the wrong one. Don't need silica, I want oxide. Let's grab another 100, why not? Let's uh, let this one clean more um, oxide. Meantime, electronics wise, I can only make seven and then I'm running out of gold wire. So gold ingots and copper ingots. Three stacks of these, one stack of these. But yeah, it's quite uh, <laughs> notable that this one has a lot more you can craft in here now. This one should have even more. Not that much more, though. No. Anyway. Uh, electronics. Grab all uh, seven. Oh yeah, the, the Cisco titanium plates. Oh, those things are expensive. 24 titanium ingots. More than a rifle. I kind of forgot about that one. So, let's dip into our supply of titanium ingots. Let's make a whole bunch of them, i.e. 25. That means I'll have one plate left after making three battery racks. Right, right. 312, so meh. I need 3 times 18 is 54 gold and copper wire. One, 
two, three, four. Check these in here already. The rest I can use here to make electronics. I'm gonna run out of uh, epoxy, so let's grab some more epoxy. Let's just grab a stack, why not? And once again, I'm gonna run out of this one. For what is I need like... 8, 12 times 6 is 72. Say 70. Or 80, whatever. I'm gonna have to smelt gold and copper again. Okay. Electronics to make those three battery racks. Like I said, it's expensive stuff. But me, so part of the game. And yes, they should be expensive. Because if they're too cheap, they're gonna lose their value. Only I'm gonna be able to make 20 more electronics. Then I'm out of <laughs> gold wire. <laughs> right. So. Three hundred. Let's check it in there. Drink some. Three hundred and a bit. I'm gonna need more before I can make, well, I can already uh, make three stacks of organic resin. And with this one I can make the fourth stack, I reckon. Not yet, okay. I need like 14 more. There's 15. Make another stack here. Boom. I need 99 more. And I want to make some organic resin spare as well. Make sure I have some in stock. All silver and coal. Okay. You know what, let's drop some infected bark in here, so I can make it into uh, epoxy once it's done with the uh, oxide. Battery racks, I can, should be able to make three now, two? What am I short of? Oh yeah, the electronics, sorry. Grab the electronics. Plunk them in there. Now I can make my battery racks, grab electricity tool, I have to uh, put you away as well, let's do that first, before I forget, this goes into the ammo. Cabinet, pistol range, I didn't know I had pistol range. Huh. Okay. for the arrows, let's just put them on the bottom row. Okay. We'll put you to the bottom row as well. Then actually I can move you over there, move you back up. Am I doing a normal rifle range? 29 or huh? No, 79er. 
armor piercing. Let's make nice and round numbers there as well. Sixty armor piercing should be fine. You should have my new battery racks by now. Lovely. Oh, they're heavy. Makes sense, it being battery racks, you know. Batteries do weigh a lot, so yeah. Uh, this way. So, deploy more battery racks here. One. Two. Three, good. Now let's hook them up. Can grab you. Uh, okay, let's see. One. And two. And three. Lovely. Well, let's check the panel. Ah, look. There's another 18 million power storage. Coolio. I'm charging with 3 times 10k, which is the max to, for uh, the, the max f throughput and max flow for uh, an advanced battery rack. So I'm charging with 30k. Add it to my demand. 48.9k plus 30, 78.9. I'm supplying to 53. I'm fine. 48.9? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I have a couple of electric furnaces running. Well, actually, only one. Huh. What? Uh, it's all the. Aluminum ingots all done? All 400? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's check them in the proper cabinet then. Is that another, uh, what, 2500 or so per... Oh, well, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do then? Since this is all done, we are gonna... Grab ourselves some copper and gold. Oh, I'm out of copper ore. I have to start. Uh, I have to start uh, mining copper ore then. Boom. Grab the oxide here. And start another stack of organic resin. Should be fine. That one uh, gunpowder can go. No, I wanted to put it in, I think, here. I don't have gunpowder here. This one. I don't have gunpowder there either. Okay. Then I don't care. Then I'll just check it in here. <coughs> Um, talking about copper mining, let's quickly go sleep and then let's go and do some copper mining, shall we? Been a while since I've done copper mining. I do have a copper uh, deep vein, DVE, defen extractor, deep mining drill, whatever. I have one here. Remove this marker. Let's go and empty out that one first then. You go back there for now. Electricity tool can go back in here. It's 
so I can put you proper back there. Let's preventively consume, 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 and consume. And then let's go empty out its copper DVE. Let's actually take the gate this way this time. Yes, I know I could have uh, grabbed a mower, but I'm like, you know, a little bit of walking in the morning. Never hurt someone. Unless you run into a bear, then it will hurt, but me. No bears here anyway, so should be fine. Next. Hey, where's my drill? Or is this one with the double copper? No. This is copper. Where's the drill? Is there also on the copper? Yeah, this is one with the double copper then. Okay. Do I hear bees? No, I don't think so. Anyway, anything else interesting in here? Nah, not really, eh? Nope. Okay. So, let's head back with a bunch of... Copper ore. Sorry, I should have killed you with the first shot. Meh. Not even gonna... Ah, I can skin you for the uh, bestiary progress. There you go. Best share progress. Should I grab some rocks? Why not? I'm here anyway. So I uh, could as well grab a couple of small stones here. Oh yeah, this is actually new in this update. Noxious crushed stone. I believe the other new one was the salt. All this does mean I'm gonna need a cupboard for the those to not just crush as well then, obviously. But. So again I did not hear the sound of like, hey you got the entire rock. Bah. Let's see another small one. Poison, meh. As with uh, weather exposure, I should be easily able to outheal it. I mean, look at my health bar. It takes a little bit away from my health bar and then straight away starts healing it all up, so no worries there. Okay. Start actually smelting some more. There, 
There's copper ore to be smelted. The rest of the copper ore can go here. Grab some gold ore. Smelt it in here. Go. Uh, I need some iron ingots. Like 40, I believe, eh, for a cupboard. So let's grab enough for two cupboards. Iron ore and epoxy and rope. I have epoxy and rope, so let's make a couple of iron cupboards. Grab those. Do I have signs still? Uh, normal ones not here. Do I have any in here? I do not either, so let's make some. Give me two. Thank you. And then actually, where am I gonna put those down, you know? I was thinking here, but <laughs> I don't know what. Let's just take out the window and make this a normal wall. Why not? Um. This one is going to be for the salt. You're gonna be noxious stone. Put you in there. Don't need a light no more. It's just uh, a tool to help me align stuff. That window can go here. You know what? Let's just do another uh, volcanic run. Because why not? Phoenix, guess what? We're going again. Oh yeah. Don't forget to put the pheromone modules in. Cause speed and stam. Where the uh, animal food is Stam region. And there we go again. Going for another round. And so, stop the annoying messages in my DS log. Yeah, I have it on my other screen, so. Or at least I have the <laughs> log of the DS visible on my other screen. And it once again. So, normally when I get off and back on, 
it's not giving those messages again. This time it did. Interesting. Okay, again, no uh, lava brittling there. Oh. It's his own choice. So, I'm wondering, you know, if I would start a new open world and build as big a base as I have built in this one, will I experience the same amount of lag? Or, another possibility is that this current open world is uh, all clogged up and polluted because of various reasons. In which case, the, uh, starting a new open world might actually uh, speed things up again. Uh, then do I really want to start a new open world? Because in this one I have like everything. And I can basically test whatever I want without struggling for resources sure I have to like smell some or compose some or whatever but I have the basic resources all ready to go here and like I have all the benches and everything so this is easier for testing but then again if I do start a new open world it might be interesting to uh, free us viewers to see uh, the whole process starting from scratch. So, let me know what you think. Will I continue going on with the current open world or do you maybe want me to uh, start a new open world and you know, maybe uh, if I'm I'm gonna start a new one. I might uh, go for a uh, for a sticks one hard mode, so I can kill the scorpion boss in the sandworm on hard mode. Yeah, scorpion boss is gonna be tough solo, but then again, I did discuss this with Carl. I believe last week, Friday, during the patch notes. There is actually ammo that slows down your uh, your opponent. So if you and like, for example, the uh, cold steel shotgun, I believe, like freeze modifier and like slow down your uh, your prey, your opponent, whatever you want to call it, which might actually be very useful when taking on Scorpion King. Which would then uh, allow me to get a couple of more uh, achievements done. Food for thoughts. Of course I can't combine those stacks, because I only stack 10. Right then, let's grab the stabilized exotics out of here and bring them upstairs. Those four running, these are done already, so... Mm. Only 55.9k power consumption at the moment. I do like the priority, yeah, priority 
PlayStation though. So make sure my aquaria get power first in water. My aquaria and the freezers and the water pumps <coughs> get power first and uh, aquaria get water first so I don't lose my food and I don't lose my fish. Need to drink. Consume. I wish they fixed this uh, this problem here. No, where are the fish labels don't show? But meh, not the most important thing. Um, hold on. I was smelting gold and copper, so I could make more. Electronics. Oh. Come on, there you go. So more of that. More of that. And then bit by bit I can then uh, add more copper wire to craft. Like 300 more. It's 1500 total. Well, actually since I can craft it here now as well. And then there's all the copper, hey, yeah. Okay, check. Just wanted to double check. And I can put that one back. Good. Um. Na, na, na. Grab this, put it in there. Let's store the copper ore. Ho. So let's run. How are you doing? You crafted all the gold wire goods. I can bring stacks of copper wire over. A stack of organic resin and a stack of uh, epoxy. Let's put those both in there. I'm basically, waiting for the um, copper wire to all get crafted.
So this one should be even faster with crafting than uh, this one here. So bring more copper wire over. And then I have room for two more stacks. It's gonna be those two, so I have to make uh, one. I have to empty up one slot more, so I can put the electronics in there. Let's just grab this one. Why not? It's just a single one anyway. So, and then we can start crafting a bunch of electronics okay so I'm gonna run into both organic resin and epoxy limits huh I can make way more so if I grab a stack of both of those can make a whole bunch more electronics in one go. Actually, let's grab two stacks of both. What can I do now, electronics wise? Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I can make a whole stack of electronics now. Nice. And then, I don't know how much more. I think I'm gonna run out of uh, gold wire. I reckon. Yeah, see, I'm gonna run out of gold wire. Not copper wire though, not by a long shot. I think. No. Like a hundred more, so give me five more gold, in ing gold ingots and then I should be fine. Question is, do I have five gold ingots still? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well, actually, grab 200. Oh, copper I need. Start smelting again. Now, what is this going to do with my power usage? Yeah, flash storm. Me. Fifty six K. Easily producing more than four times that amount, so that's good. All my batteries are completely filled up, also very good. Consume, 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 consume. Put you back in there. Whole stack of electronics, eh? So I need like 80, 16, 16 gold ingots. Yeah. 
16. Let's make some gold wire out of that. Go, go, go. And then I can make some more electronics out of those. Lovely. So, I like the fact that I fixed uh, the recipes so you can, on the higher tier benches, make everything you can make on the lower tier benches. So they're like proper successors now. The only thing is, you are gonna run out of inventory space in the benches. Actually, let's keep you in here. Especially in the higher tier benches, you're so gonna run out. Actually, replace all those reinforced windows with these ones, steel barred windows, so I can actually look outside. Might not be a bad idea. Might look nicer. I have to take out this one though. Now I can place you, open you, put you, well actually close you. Can I put you back in here? I cannot. Now if I do this. And close. There you go. Yes, you're uh, clipping. But I like this picture as well. They have like very nice art here, that's for sure. Still my favorite picture <laughs> is this one here. That's why I actually have it as a canvas above my computer here. The reinforced window actually can go here. Yep. Put some steel bars in here. I did not. Can I make some more? I can. So let's just do it. Why not? You know. Grab you. I mean, I know you'll be seeing the fortification wall, but... Hey. Well, this looks better than like, uh, all closed off. Open. Uh, actually, back. Grab this one. Huh, that's interesting. They automatically. Ah, okay, because it's in the sill. Cool. Slightly easier for me. 
One there, one there. And I have to open up these two. And then I can put these back in. Close the windows. You can go back on. Grab here. Hmm. This time you didn't. Ah, must be because you're a single one and the other one. The others were a double. Open. Thank you. You can close again. So at least it looks like you can like actually look outside now. So I have two left. Do I have windows here? I do. So yeah, why not do the same here, right? Just make it look a little bit nicer. So at least you can look outside from here. There, open, and then I can place you back down, roughly in the middle, not entirely here though, because of the benches, yeah, looking better, looking better, so you should now also have more, can I now make the longbow here? I can, cool, and... Arrows, flint arrows. Yes. Okay. Especially the longbow, I believe there was always like you can, you could only make it at the anvil, not at the foundry, not here at the. Uh, sorry, N neither at the forge nor at the foundry. So that has now been fixed. This means you can now basically get, basically get rid of the <laughs> forge once you have the foundry. This was not the case before, but now you can. Good. So, put these there. Don't really need them anymore. Sword, why not? Ah, there's still a wind turbine in here, huh? I did not know that. Well, I do know. Yeah, look at all the batteries. I mean, I could put uh, a shelf up here and put the battery racks there as well. And I could put like a row of batteries down the middle. Put batteries here and on the shelf there, like I'm doing over here. There's still plenty of battery space. They're not lined up. Why are they not lined up? They're not lined. This first one is already not lined up. Oh well. So she'll be able to put in another three, maybe even four here. Eleven, so another fourteen or fifteen here. So seventeen to nineteen on the shelf alone. And then add batteries there, add batteries on the shelf there. Put a couple of batteries down here if I want. Batteries on the shelves there if I want. Like I said, through the middle, on double row, like 
one facing this way, one facing that way, maybe, depending on how... Uh, no, I can put a single row in, not a double row. I could, if I would rotate these, and put them on the side, instead of in the front, put them to the side, then I should, and this one as well, let's say it actually goes here. Then I could put a double row of batteries in the middle. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that means I could, if I put a full row, 60. I'm not gonna. Uh, put maybe like 10 in uh, Actually like 20 in it's gonna be like till here So I can put down another 40 down the middle here 15 there 4 there so 19 59 or Complete shell there 30 more 89 to add to the current I don't know how many uh, 53 so it would be easily doubling my storage capacity so yeah Lots of things to spend my resources on, that's for sure. Okay, let's have a quick uh, look in the rooms upstairs. The rustic room. Trying to give it a bit of a, uh, a rustic vibe with the uh, bear and the wolf rugs couple of uh, thick woven rocks here as well combination of colored light yellow uh, orange red blue yeah not bad not bad like you know you're a prospector uh, not whole not whole lot of luxury then you get to the car of the hood room Deliberately all the copper lamps in here to give this more warm and cozy feeling Also the rugs like buffalo rug The thin woven rugs are just just a bit more sophisticated, you know Yeah And also like more the Early prospector and the rough, dangerous world paintings. Alright, this one is a bit more. Yeah, you know, you, you, you've, you've done a bit more. Trying to do a bit with the paintings there. Then we get to the industrial room. Like iron and glass and like straight lines sharp corners a bit more sharper light with the yellow oh, this one should have been in the middle which apparently i was not able to do proper eh. i wonder did i fix this one uh, do i have something i can put in let's try No, the hitbox is still wrong. <coughs> it's closed off at the front. But yeah, industrial. A uh, couple of trophies on the wall, because why not, you know. Didn't do a whole lot with the paintings here. And then the brutalist room. Like concrete and blue lights, cold and all the... Uh, Arctic uh, 
trophies. I did put this one deliberately here, the whole blue vibe, you know, gold and blue. I definitely went for the bronze polar bear. I definitely want for the the cold and you know five here. Hence the polar bear rug. I could put like uh, another uh, snow wolf rug down. Actually, I could I could put one down here. There's space for it. You know, let's do it. Why not? And then we have our art deco room, which is like all posh and fancy. And uh, also this one, I thought this uh, was a good fit for uh, the art deco furniture. A couple of leopard trucks. Um, paintings in here, I did kind of like try to group some paintings, you know. You're uh, working in the Arctic, all of a sudden you see the polar bear and then uh, you get killed by the polar bear and then your friend is gonna come and find your corpse. The root of all Prometheus, the red exotics, just for fun. Uh, desert paintings, a bit grouped, but most of the paintings here are just like, hey, I want it all the paintings you know so I like put them all together or I'll to, uh, put them all down here all the remaining paintings our storage room as you've seen before so let's actually put these ingots in the correct uh, Well, I can make more electronics. Nah, I'll do it another time. So then put them in the cupboards. Okay, I wanted another um, snow wolf rug. Where are my snow wolves? Here. Do I have... Uh, I could go for a snow lab. Nah, I can go for a snow wolf. Not a trophy, I want a rug. Uh, no rug, rug, rug here. Yeah, a snow wolf rug. And obviously... I'm gonna need uh, an empty slot to actually put the snow rock in. So, there you go. Come on. Let's fill up this, uh, this stack of rope. Grab some fiber from here and put it in the fiber cupboard. Okay, let's put a snow wolf rug down. Then I'm actually gonna call it. There you go. Yeah. I definitely went for the cold feeling in this room here, and I think I succeeded pretty, pretty nicely. Yeah. Compared with the brutalist room, the industrial room <coughs> is nice. In fighting. Like I said, it's just your standard uh, starter room in Icarus. No place like it, Chris. It's your uh, rustic room. And then here is your uh, carved wood room. More warm and inviting. I think. 
I accomplished it pretty well here as well. And yeah, here is like the pinnacle of Icarus, you know, the Art Deco. With a fancy big ass fireplace and everything. Your trophies, lots and lots of trophies. Your aquaria, and like. If you have aquaria, it means you have free time, spare time. You don't need to. Uh, you're no longer like constantly hunting to survive. Now you have time. And uh, resources to actually keep your fish alive instead of eating them. So yeah, the pinnacle of Icarus. Anyway. I'm gonna call it right now. Still not feeling too well. So. Ah, uh, darn. Weather event. I have to wait. Well, not have to wait, but I am gonna wait for the weather event to be over. I don't uh, like logging off during a weather event, cause, you know, uh, it should not give any issues, but, uh, uh, yeah, experiences from the past, you know, it's the same like, uh, Updates and uh, half completed missions. Back in the day, like a long time ago, there were sometimes there was issues where uh, the weekly update did break a mission if you were halfway the mission. So we always made sure we finished the mission on time for the next update. Uh, no longer the case though. At these breaking missions, in general, always exceptions, and with a whole power uh, rework, a couple of missions did get bugged. Uh, but in general, it's no problem no more. So you shouldn't need to. Uh, in general, you don't need to like finish your mission before the next update anymore. But you know, I made it a habit. So. And the same with uh, logging off during a weather event. I still don't like doing it. So I'm just gonna... You know what, let's also feed the animals. Come on, you two. And then once the weather event is over, um, I am gonna log off. Like I said, still not feeling 100%. Have to work tomorrow as well, so yeah. Better take my rest. Well, I can already start doing a, a bit of the outro, so. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me play i know i enjoyed playing you know me give me a reason to play Icarus and i will play it give me no reason to play Icarus and i will still play it i do like the game a lot and it's actually uh, <laughs> kind of reflected in the amount of hours i've put into the game already but yeah like last two three weeks ago i passed the uh, 2000 hour mark so yeah you could say i'm uh, i'm an icarus enthusiast uh so yeah if you did enjoy my playing and uh, watching me play a like would be appreciated uh, if you watch this on, on Twitch and you want to get notified next time I stream again, uh, there's the follow button. Uh, if you watch the, uh, if you watch this on uh, <coughs> YouTube and you want to get notified next time I upload again, which hopefully will be a bit more frequent. Uh, again, this past week I haven't been feeling all too well, so that's why. I haven't been uh, playing that much. So if you uh, want to get notified next time I upload, there is the subscribe button. You know how it goes. 
So, let's quickly have to put new queen bees in here. Destroy beeswax. I have no idea what to do with it. I need uh, some kind of like bulk destroy possibility. Let's see, two queen bees and let's uh, grab a stack of worker bees for the small beehive. Let's see, give these chaps some more honey in their uh, troughs. Yes, I know I'm feeding them honey. Again, I have no idea what to do with all the honey I already have, so... At least this way it's being uh, useful. Uh, it's a non-spoiling food, so... When, even when they do run out of uh, tomatoes, uh, they can still continue on the honey. Honey won't spoil, so... It's a nice backup food. Uh, the same with like the honeycombs. I don't take the honeycombs. I have no idea what to do with it. I have enough of the stuff anyway. The only reason I'm growing so many tomatoes is <laughs> for animal food. But then again, I do have a fair amount of mounds, so I do need a fair amount of uh, animal food to keep them fed anyway. So. Uh, Deactivate this one. Put the T in here. So I can use it next time. I'm gonna make more of the uh, tea smoked uh, fish uh, thingies I'm eating. Tea smoked freshwater fillets. Uh, I have to top up my food anytime soon again, though. Let's grab this and let's grab some of those and half stack and let's grab half stack of these. Boom boom boom. That's my food all finished. All topped up, sorry. So yeah, weather event is over, so like I said I'm gonna call it uh, so, thanks for being here. Uh, I hope I'll see you tomorrow for the patch notes 2130 GMT, uh, either with Echo or with Carl or with both of, uh, both of them. Carl usually is able to do them, Echo, eh, not so much lately. Uh, after the patch notes, we will be doing a subsequent gameplay. I definitely will be doing it. Uh, hopefully we can do uh, co-op again with Echo if she has time. If not, I'll do it solo. So yeah, there will be subsequent gameplay after the patch notes tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for being here. And I will see you folks around.